Hello, my fellow projectors. So let's talk a little bit because I want you to know that it is okay to isolate yourself from situations. And why? Why is it important to go within, to be on, on your own or to remove yourself from situations, especially during your training process and utilizing your strategy, your authority, understanding your aura type, and then just doing the experiment of human design and seeing how it works for you. So, to understand the things that I'm about to say, you have to first understand being a projector. You are not an energy type. What does that mean? Does that mean you don't have energy? No, it does not mean that. <laughs> It means that the energy you come with when you come here and the energy that lives in living things and is around is what you have to utilize. You are a guide. You understand things and dissect it with just, just going inside of it and bringing it into you. That you are a person that people feel comfortable talking to, that people feel comfortable opening up to. Your, your aura goes inside there and you're already in their safe space by just experiencing it and them experiencing you. You will understand people better than they understand themselves. You will not be able to vocalize that. They can't vocalize it. And when you try to, it can be too much. It has to be invited. It has to be, they have to want the advice. They have to want what you're offering otherwise it'll be taken wrong and that's why i'm big on removing yourself sometimes because in the beginning stages or we're just understanding or living as a projector you always want to help you always want to give so if you see something with like a lot of potential you can see where it can go you can see everything that's going right and what's going wrong or whatever the case and you want to just like give or and give your advice of refinement and your architect or your like architect type of mind <laughs> And then you can feel all the energy and what's going on. Then you kind of know how to fix it. I am a strong um, believer or supporter of unfollowing people <laughs> during your training process. Because in this world of social media, you're going to be flooded with so many people and so many things that you want to hit them up and be like, hey, you should do this, or you should do that. Or, That's really cool. Like, da -da 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 -da. and I saw this, or I saw you said this, and you probably should have did it, because then that'll da -da 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 -da. And then I have these people that know that they can connect you with da -da -da. It's too much. The way your mind works and your intent will not be accepted or received correctly if it's not invited. It comes off like in this in this day and time, especially when I'm talking to like younger black people, you know, in the urban society <laughs> or whatnot, they don't think you hate me. Like that's where it how small of a box the condition mentality is. And then they're not experiencing life the way you experience life. We have different designs. We have different perspectives. Projector, you will not experience life the way the generator the manifesting generator and manifestors experience life or even the reflector and they will never experience life the way you do they are they are always they have more motors and they're like always generating new energy and trying to find on where to focus to build you don't work like that you're not always trying to just like build it and, and and focus energy unless you're feeling someone else's energy and it's making you like that because you're feeling it. You help guide the energy so it stays on path and on purpose that is best satisfying and peaceful and successful for all that are involved and that's putting energy into the space. Because you can feel their needs, you can feel what they feel like their purpose and path is. You can see how things work together. So you guide the energy in the space to assist people on their path and their um, their journey of how they want to transform, how they want to be successful, how they want their relationships to be, how they feel like their their purpose is. That's what we do. Okay. 
everybody will not understand that <laughs> they'll think you're trying to be controlling or you're being a bitch or you are being a hater or something like that because here you come out of nowhere talking about things that they could do that's a little different and that will assist or make something better who asked you that's the that's the energy you're going to continue to continuously get who asked you all they wanted you to do is get some clap hands, some emojis. They're like, hey, I see you. Like, that's it. They don't want you to refine their stuff, this they stuff, this they idea, this they vision. If they want something from you, they will ask you. They will give you an invite. If you are a person that cannot stop yourself from reaching out and giving to situations you're not invited to be giving to, unfollow. It's really that simple. Like, that has, that has gave me so much peace as a projector. Just unfollowing people. I'm not about to hit you up and be like, okay, I've seen this. And like, maybe she did this. Da, 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 da. Or like, you know, so good with this. But da, 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 da. because it's not going to be received right or would have been asked for. Your best bet as a projector, because you wait on the invite as your strategy, is just to work on yourself work on expanding your knowledge and mastering your skill set so that when your advice or your presence to work in a space is invited you have something of value of strong value to give now we were just talking about three five so if you're a three five projector like myself then you really have to understand that you're going to go through a complete process of experiencing a whole lot, being able to break apart from situations to continue to experience and see what works in life. So that you do have so much to give and be a good guide and help people on their path for transformation and to be their best selves. Rather, if it's in business, relationships, purpose, spirituality, whatever whatever writing whatever or art in general whatever your skill set is or whatever the different things that you have experienced and try it out and dug deep into to see what works what doesn't work and get as many life experiences as possible is what you're going to be able to give my teacher calls projector santa claus and the only time you will not be bitter because you're your your um theme is success and you're not self is bitterness so the way that normally happens is when you're not utilizing your discernment and you're giving to a non-deserving a non-appreciative situation no matter what that is if it's a personal relationship if it's a business if it's a whole culture like you know what i mean it's not being appreciated you're not it's not an invite it's not a pull it's not a value. What you're giving is not a value. So, or if people are just like, they just like don't appreciate it in a way to where they just kind of like brush it off or downplay it or what you have to vow, if you what you have to give if it's being downplayed, you were supposed to walk away a long time ago. That I mean that that um, that invitation is over with. You have to move to a different stage in life. You have to move to a different invite. You have to continuously be okay with moving because your energy is moving and guiding and you have to utilize your authority to move in the right flow of energy and guide and where you are appreciated and invited into that space to give don't be given to people who don't deserve it or don't appreciate it or don't want it <laughs> that is the only time you'll be bitter that is the only time now, if you are someone with a defined um, heart center or a defined ego center, and then you have like an undefined uh, G center or something like that. Now, you can, it, other reasons or other, you know, other different aspects of your body grab that can make you bitter. Because people with defined, we'll talk about this in a whole other video, but I'll just say it, talk about it a little bit just in case you are a... Um, projector that has a defined um uh that has a defined ego center our ego center is what we call the heart center because that's about your self-worth 
materialism, uh, your what you value, all of those things, right? And then your G center is your identity, your love language, and all of those things, right? If you have an open or undefined G center, so you're kind of like receiving a lot of energy into that space and figuring out your identity, and then you have a defined ego center, which can push you to have something to prove, and like just push you in 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 in, in finding the value for your self worth, right? So where you focus that energy says the kind of person that you're gonna be. Are you somebody who is because it has to do with materials and stuff like that? Are you going to let that that defined center overpower all your other channels and your purpose? So now your self worth is just being fueled on comparing to materials and how many materials you have and what you might have accomplished or didn't accomplish that that comes with materials that you can show for. Or are you operating within your purpose? Are you seeing your other energy channels? I can help you with if you would like a um, human design coaching. Um, to see where you naturally flow and how you connect in your skill set. And then operating in that is best. Be your self work. It's a whole different energy. It's a whole different energy. And then you're operating successfully. Because you're successfully moving in your in your purpose and your skill sets and your design and your authority and your strategy. Things are just moving smoothly. You will feel success, not bitterness. Okay? So be mindful of that and take the time to get to know yourself and to understand your energy versus somebody else's. That's another reason why I was saying like, Take the time to, ref uh, to reflect and go inside. Because if your aura is always doing this, you have to be able to tell the difference from information you got from somebody else and took inside. Especially if you're with, with whatever open centers um, or undefined centers you have. Because they'll take in more. And then you can start to be conditioned based on other people's ideals and, and emotions and just thought processes and all of that. You have to understand your own because even though you have the ability to take in and, uh, and, and dissect and thoroughly you know experience every individual it does not mean that you can never be defined as an individual that you just gonna always be a chameleon no that's if you don't have you don't create your own definition if you don't take what you feel is wrong or right and connects with your channels and what is successfully within your energy cycles and moving with you, then yeah, you'll be all off balance. You'll be a clone of somebody else. So you have to take that time within yourself to understand your thoughts, your emotions, your identity, your self-worth, your inner standing. And then move from there. Understand your authority when it's making decisions for you. When it's helping you make decisions. Because what I'm learning is when people are not operating in their authority, and the authority is always ringing all over the place, but you're still doing other stuff, they have people who are more likely to have um, illnesses that hold inner that that are where that energy is taking place. Like, I see people with spleenic getting issues with their pancreas. Your spleen connects with your pancreas, and then it, that, that can affect you when being a diabetic. I see a lot of people who are solar plexus authority, having problems with their gut, having problems with their um, genitals or urine, like your uh, uterus. Because they have all this energy right here, and they don't let it be a generator, manifesting generator, and now you're, you... Got all of this energy that you're creating and, and generating while at the same time well at the same time you're emotion you're an emotional decision maker that's how you understand and get your um intuition that's how you connect with your intuition so if your energy is your emotions are doing this trying to weigh things out to understand it or that thoroughly dissected by doing that, 
you have to give it this opportunity to do that. You have to understand it. So you're not just building all over the place and jumping all over the place and then being like, ah, I really didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? And then having all this energy all balled up, all catastrophic from trying to make so many decisions and you're not listening to your authority. And then now you're, it's, it's, it's focused energy that is at a dis-ease. It's not at ease. So what does that do? Cause dis-ease in the body. It starts metaphysically before things materialize in the physical. And that's just science, proven facts. So have an understanding of that, okay, projectors, okay? Uh, whatever your authority is, all right? So peace and love. Talk to you guys soon.